Hey guys, welcome back to Grand NYC. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we'll be talking about the Aries X1 after 100 miles of riding. Let's dive into this review, starting off with the components. The Aries X1 deck is made out of 3K carbon fiber or quartz carbon fiber. The deck is 40 inches long and at its widest point is 10 inches wide. In my personal experience, this deck feels really comfortable and for people with big feet, including myself, you fit, your feet won't hang off the edge of the deck. If you like wide stance on your board, you have plenty of room to move your feet around. The Aries X1 is packing a massive 14S 4P battery pack. The cell type that this pack is using are Mala Cell, 2100 cells, and a P48, P428 configuration. The charger that the Aries X1 is using is a 58.8 volt charger that is 3 amps. In my opinion, that's pretty slow. It takes about 7 hours to recharge. The negative about this small charger is that if you're on a really big group ride, let's say you ride from lower Manhattan all the way up into Harlem, it takes about 7 hours to recharge, so it is a pain. This is the kind of board you just use for a group ride or about a 30 mile ride and go home. The ESC is using a Fock ESC. The benefits of this ESC, let me pull it up real quick. Customized executive design ESC with intrusive acceleration and braking curve, featuring a turbo mode for blistering fast acceleration. My personal thoughts on this ESC is that it's pretty well designed. When I first start off my board, it has a smooth takeoff and then it just tosses in power and it upholds that power once you get to your top speed. Let's now take a look at my personal opinion on the board. So after owning this board for 100 miles, I did run into a couple problems, but gladly ASTEC fixed it really fast. So the first problem that I had was my ESC overvolted and that resulted in a crash. I contact ASTEC, they walked me through the problem, they resolved it, they sent me a new ESC. I replaced that my kingpins on my trucks also broke they replaced that with a higher quality and stronger kingpin bolt so that's a hundred plus customer service to ace deck it did take some time because ace deck made the objective to replace all parts on every board that had these escs and messed up kingpin bolts and ace deck has aimed and completed that objective I want to take a look about the pros and cons of this board. So the pros is that this board has a really big battery. So you're able to dump out a lot of power while going fast. Another pro is that you're able to get a lot of range, top speed. Your board also has CNC TKP trucks. What is so great about TKP trucks compared to double kingpin or other types of trucks, TKP is very stable, so you can run your trucks really loose and don't have to worry about wobbling out and dying compared to double kingpin. Let's say you hit a pothole. TKPs will turn once, double kingpins will turn twice, and it's harder to catch it while you're riding really fast. So TKPs are overall more safe than double kingpin. So I'm happy in the era that we're in, boards keep getting more powerful and more powerful. So I'm glad that they use TKPs instead of double kingpin. I want to take a look at cons in this board. It's not really a con, it's like a nitpick. I want them to replace the smaller charger for like a 5 amp or a 6 amp. So your board will charge in about 3 hours to 2 hours. That'd be a great benefit to riders. Yes, your battery life will go down but you're able to charge up faster and get to places you need to. That is a plus. Uh, I also think the tires are too big. Sometimes the tires can be overkill because most people don't even need 8 inch tires. Yes, they are nice to go over a lot of stuff, but they're not really needed. Another nitpick is that it's really hard to take out an ESC if anything happens, but that's really it. And the next nitpick is the bushings. They have really poor quality bushings. I've changed out my bushings for a mix of Riptide and Evolve bushings. I also wanted to talk about some changes I've done to this board. Instead of using A-Stack shred lights, their bootleg shred lights, I use my own type. And I also use my own type of 6-inch tires from BKB boards. 
The difference with these tires is that I'm able to get more range and overall have more grip compared to the stock 8 inch tires. The BKBs also look really nice with the stock CNC rims that Ace Deck provides. The great thing about these CNC rims is that compared to plastic rims that chip over time or bend or can crack, the CNC rims don't really crack. They last for an extremely long time. You can even take these rims into other boards or continue using them. So overall, metal hubs or as people call them, rims last longer compared to plastic. Let's get straight to the point. Who is this board for? If you're a person looking for torque, range, looks, aesthetics, stability, and overall top speed, this board will be perfect for you. If you don't want a board as heavy as the LaCroix, Cali, or Flux, but you want to get a decent amount of range over 30 miles, the A-Stick Ares X1 is for you. If you want to try on straight wheels or different all-terrain tires, the A-Stick is for you is the board for you. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have a discount code for this board and I'm gonna put it down in the description below. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. I might have a couple other reviews coming on soon of other riders and the experience with their boards. Thank you for watching guys. Always make sure to wear a helmet and your safety gear.